after the 2019 general elections held in March, and the result seeing Muhammad Buhari returned as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The people of Nigeria have gone about their daily activities with no particular anticipation for what comes next. A number of our respondents did not vote in the elections, while some did cast their votes with a lot of expectations. Yes, I voted. I voted. I voted in my unit, Ward 11, uh, Unit 5. I, took, I cast my vote. Yes, I did vote in the last 2019 general election. And I thought it was time for us to take the bull by the horn. That's why I have to even mobilize friends and family to come outside to vote for the candidate of their choice. No, I didn't vote. I did not vote in the last elections due to the fact that the PVC was not available. A level of dissatisfaction has been expressed with the current state of affairs, especially with the GDP reports for the first quarter of 2019 recorded by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, NBS, which stands at a drop in growth rate as compared to the fourth quarter of 2018. To me, I still believe that there is economic recession. I don't see any improvement. Though the, we have appointed the CBN governor who is telling us that all is well, I still believe that they should do more to see that they revive the economy. The economy is stiff, people are suffering, we have a lot of insecurity in the, in the country, people are dying, abduction, bandits, S-men, and a whole lot of countless of issues that needs to be attended to. People are displaced. So these are things that we need solution to. Unemployment has risen and it needs to be curtailed. And any country that unemployment has risen, I, I bet you, there will be a huge level of insecurity. And even the NLC battling with the governor that they should pay minimum wage of 30,000 naira. And they are still insisting after the law has been passed. Nevertheless, others have hailed the efforts of the federal government. And moving forward, many still expect the current administration to deliver on their promises. As events unfold, starting with the swearing-in ceremony, Nigeria will be ushered into another four years of the Buhari-led administration. However, given the current state of the polity and various socio-economic indices, indifference is in the air and expectations are on the eye for some Nigerians. So I'm not particularly enthusiastic about the government that's going to be sworn in again for another four years. Yes, I'm anticipating for May 29 and I'm not anticipating because this is not the first time that we have been witnessing such inauguration. So the inauguration should, instead of the inauguration, I think they have to eat the ground and start running because the expectation has heightened and we are expecting more from the present administration than what we saw last year. So I think in my opinion, I'm not, I'm anticipating, but I'm not like us now, really, really anticipating. I'm not looking any forward because I don't have any gain there. Our respondents did not leave us without a befitting direction as to how things should go. As expressed by Mr. Ibrahim and many more like him who are quite objective in their outlook, things will get better if the needful is done. They should try and sit tight. The National Assembly, the executive and the judiciary, as an arm of, of the government, should really sit tight and make sure the country is comfortable for Nigerians. I'm not an absolute person. I leave room for change. I hope this opinion changes and the present administration change my mind by implementing policies that are very good. Not only that, by ensuring that they put their critics into shame. So I think to me they have a whole lot of things to attend to in terms of economy and employment in this country and I think above all we need to look critically into our power generation and the autonomy of local government should be looked into because that is the government that is closer to the people so when they are independent I think the dividend of democracy that many people are yearning for will get to them will trickle down and they will really enjoy what democracy is all about and conclusively let's adopt the kind of our own traditional democracy we should shy away from practicing United States style of democracy it is not working it is not working so that's my own candid opinion to
Minister for Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, has announced that a swearing-in ceremony for the president-elect, Muhammad Buhari, will hold on May 29. He also announced that the celebration for the Democracy Day, which was formerly May 29, will now hold on June 12. This is where all the celebration will take place. After all this, what does the next four years hold for Nigeria, for Nigerians and the Nigerian youths especially? We can only hope for the best. Tumisha Ajani reporting for NIJ News 24.